Hey guys, Jordan here. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at a hot new app called Easy Tracks that recreates all your favorite songs in a multi-track stem format. This allows you to play along with them with some instruments muted, some instruments isolated, or even create your own custom mix. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, so here's the web version of Easy Tracks. This is just uh, my browser in Chrome here. There's an iOS version as well, but we'll have to go over that another time. Okay, so as you can see, we've got Record Shop, Set lists, where you can make your own set list and playlists of all the Easy Tracks songs. My Music, it's like uh, your music history. And then a search engine, really nice feature. All right, now go going back over to Record Shop, it's exactly what you might think it is. It's, you know, a place where you can shop records and you see the different categories, rock, jazz, acoustic, pop. And those same songs are also recategorized as by artist, tempo, decade, and then beginner, intermediate, and advanced, which is very helpful for those who are learning. Let's take a look at rock. Now you can probably tell by the intro, one of my favorite songs is Lights by Journey. Let's go ahead and use that as a way to get familiar with the interface. Now, this is going to take a second to load because it's loading quite a bit of content and data. All right, now we're all loaded up here. As you can see, we've got a very simple interface, the title of the song. We've got all of our tracks. These are individual tracks that can that can be controlled, lead vocal, rhythm guitar, as well as click, which is a really great feature. We'll, we'll get into that more in a second. And then down below, we've got our Easy Tracks play button and a couple of other features. Okay, let's go ahead and hit play. There's our click, counting us in. Okay, now let's say that I want there to be less keyboard. I can go over here, the keyboard track, pull down the keyboard until it basically disappears. Okay, now I'm going to put it back in because I like it. But let's say I want it, this click to go away. Instead of pulling down the volume, what I can do is I can just go over here to mute. Okay, that's better. All right. Okay, now let's say I want to hear this guitar part during the, the verse because it's got a lot of detail. All right, I just soloed it, so now I'm only hearing the guitar. All right, now that's most of the features in this main panel. Now let's say I wanted to hear everything but the guitar. A really great quick feature is this toggle mute tracks, and it'll invert whatever I've got going on. So now, the one thing that's muted is the guitar. I'm gonna hit that again. Now I've only got the guitar again. So it's a great feature that kind of inverts whatever settings you've got. All right, now I'm gonna undo this. Okay, great. We've also got a feature that changes the pitch of the tracks as well as the tempo of the tracks. This way you can practice playing in different keys. Uh, you can transpose it if you're using it for you know, various uses. And then, obviously, changing the tempo is great for learning and practicing and transcribing and things of that nature. Okay, now that's enough of this song for the moment. Okay, now we're going to head over to Acoustic and take a look at some of that. I'm going to find one of my favorite John Mayer songs, Daughters. Okay, now we're all loaded up here. Same interface. Let's hit play. There's our click, completely different tempo for a different song. So Easy Tracks is very detailed. And so they got this great shaker sound. Now I remember when I first started learning to play guitar this rhythm guitar part. I always had it, but I never had it quite right. And so now with the easy tracks, I'm able to hear the exact voicings with the open strings and exactly how it was played. 
in detail. I can solo it like this. Same kind of idea. I'm going to pause this. Same kind of idea with the lead guitar part. There are a couple of interesting spots where it's difficult to hear exactly what he plays. So, so I can solo that. This section right here. So say I just learned this lead guitar part. Now that I've learned it, I can unsolo it and mute it so that when I play along with it, only my guitar is playing and this lead guitar part isn't playing in the track. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and check out one other thing from the record shop. Jazz backing tracks somewhat have a bad reputation for sometimes being low in quality and utilizing MIDI instruments and not being that musical. With easy tracks, there's an in-house jazz quartet that's amazing with professionals. Okay, now that we've got Blue Bossa all loaded up, this is one of my favorite jazz standards to learn on. I would argue that the jazz quartet is so good in easy tracks that you could go through and transcribe what any of them is playing, and that would be a great, a great starting point for learning. As you can see here, this track's already been muted because it saved my settings from the last time I was playing along with it. Because I'm a guitarist, I went ahead and muted the guitar. That way I was just playing with the trio. Two, Let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Two, three. We have a count in for the jazz, but no click. Okay, so you can hear we just have drums, bass, and piano. The guitar is muted. Okay, let's go ahead and unmute the guitar. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this guitar part again and start it from the top and practice my jazz chops for a minute. So that's a fairly simple interface throughout the whole website. There's a lot of great content here, a lot of great songs, but in a very easy to use interface that's also aesthetically pleasing. So at this point, it's pretty obvious what some of the most popular uses are for easy tracks. But I've also thought of five other uses for easy tracks that may be a little less obvious. Number one, as an educator, easy tracks can be an invaluable resource. Sometimes students bring in songs to their private lessons that the instructor might have difficulty learning, transcribing, and then teaching to the student within a 30-minute time period. Easy Tracks makes this process a little easier by giving the instructor the ability to hear the part isolated. 
as well as the student. The student will also be able to hear that part isolated. As an added bonus, the student will be familiar with Easy Tracks from their lesson and can use it in their own personal practice time and just for fun. Number two, to study tone and mix. With the ability to isolate each instrument individually in Easy Tracks, one can hear the sound of a well recorded drum set, the types of reverb and delay used on lead vocal, and even a guitar tone that's difficult to discern in the context of a band mix. Number three, transitioning into learning songs by ear. For example, if you're a guitarist and in the past you've used tablature to learn songs, but you're wanting to get into the world of ear training and learning songs by ear, Easy Tracks is a perfect stepping stone. The ability to isolate each part and slow it down makes learning songs by ear much easier and you more likely to stick to it. Number four, performance. Whether you're a live performer needing to supplement your sound, a host on karaoke night, or just wanting to make an awesome cover video, Easy Tracks has you covered. Number five, changing up the arrangement of a song. Have you ever wondered what a song would sound like with a completely different drum groove or your own custom guitar solo in it? What if you wanted to completely rewrite the lyrics to a song and then do a parody video? All this is possible with Easy Tracks. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today in my introduction to Easy Tracks. I really do love this app, and I wish it would have been around when I was first learning music. But don't take my word for it. Head on over to easytracks.com and start your free trial today. In the meantime, you'll find me practicing with it.